Hello everybody. I do have to apologize because it has been a while since I have recorded anything. I moved into my apartment and I have just taken time for myself. I don't think I actually realized how exhausted mentally and physically from the traveling, from the constant videos that I had become. So I have actually taken a month off, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm feeling refreshed. I've moved into my apartment. Yay! <laughs> if you didn't see my previous video on the apartment tours, go back and watch that one first because I have had so many comments on that video. So before we get into this one, I thought what I would do is address a few of the comments that I have received. I have a book, I have made notes. So hopefully if you have sent me a message, I'm gonna go through and hopefully answer them all now. So the number one, message that I got was where are the prices all the prices of all the different places that I visited down in the description below so if there's any information on any of my videos I will always put it in the description below I have also put in the realtor company I've put their details down in the description below with a link the guy that i dealt with his name was channy and he was fantastic really really looked after me the next question was how about cleaning can you not have like a cleaning service well most apartments come with a cleaning service this one it's once a fortnight um you can opt in opt out um summer once a week some are once a month, but if they don't offer it, honestly, it is really easy just to set that up. So don't worry about it. I'm sure the apartment or place that you rent can organize that for you if you want to. All the apartments that I visited were a maximum of around a six minute tuk-tuk ride from Pub Street. So that means I've had a couple of comments about local food is there somewhere where i can go to get food honestly you will not go hungry in cm reek there are so many street food sellers restaurants literally i walk out of where i am and there are street food sellers there are markets there are local shops there are supermarkets i promise you will not go hungry i did get one comment about can I get a Greg sausage roll? Random. <laughs> no, you can't get a Greg sausage roll in Cambodia. I do believe that there is a, I'm going to say McDonald's, but it might be a Burger King. I haven't visited, but I've walked past it, but I can't remember which one it is. There is also a KFC. I haven't actually visited either of them. So next up, I was asked about backup generators in case of a power outage now it's not something that i even thought about asking to be perfectly honest um i do remember channy turning around and mentioning something about a generator but it didn't go in thankfully even with the storms we've been having if you look on my facebook nam with a backpack facebook page i'll put the link in the description below um, you'll see several videos of amazing storms with fork lightning and everything going on. Claps of thunder, jumped out my skin, I did. We haven't had any power outages, thankfully. I think this place has got one, but in all honesty, I don't know. Um, not something that I can answer. I might go back and see if I can find the answer out for you. Air conditioning. Now somebody and i can't remember who it was mentioned about they would like a small place with only one air conditioning unit in all honesty i haven't turned my air conditioning on at all and i've been here for just about a month now 
haven't turned it on once. I went and bought, I'll put a picture in here, a fan. I think my fan cost $29. That's all I've needed. And in fact, the last two nights, I haven't even turned the fan on. I haven't needed to. I've become quite accustomed to the temperature, although things are cooling down greatly here at the moment. Sorry, there's a lot of information, but I wanted to cover all the questions that I'd been asked. Um, da la 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 la. Next is bank account. So what I didn't realize is you actually already need to have your six month visa in your passport before you can open a bank account. Although that's what I was told. Other people might have other experiences, but I was told you need that six month visa before they will open you a bank account. So I had to wait for my visa to come back, which took about, I think it was about 10 days because actually I handed it in during a national holiday. So it took a little bit longer. And the guys down at Cam Smile Services were amazing. I will put their link to their site down in the description as well. So if you need any visa help, go and talk to them down there. They are just amazing. So anyway, getting back to it, I had to have my six month visa and I also had my rental agreement. The bank didn't ask for it, but when I said that I had it, they wanted to see it. So I think maybe to be on the safe side, have the two, the visa and a rental or accommodation agreement. Everything went through really smoothly with the bank account. The hardest thing that I found was actually electronically moving the money from my UK account to the Cambodian ABA account. And I looked and looked and I couldn't work it out. So I went back to the bank afterwards and the lady on reception as you walk in, the banks are really nice here. So I walked in and said, look, can you help me? So what I did is I moved the money into my WISE account. I will show the picture of the cards just here. And then from there, they gave me a, an account name and a, a number to plug it all in. And they literally walked me through. They held my hand and walked me through it. It didn't happen instantaneously. Like when you do an electronic bank transfer, it's normally bang and it's in. That didn't happen. The first time I did it, I think it took two days to reach the account. But the second time I did it, I've only transferred money across twice. Um, it literally was there within a couple of hours. It does cost to do it. Off the top of my head, I think it was about $12. And it doesn't matter how much money you transfer. It's just that flat rate up to a certain point. And then I think it goes to percentages. But that amount is so much, to be honest, it's, I'm never going to be transferring that kind of money. So, yeah, I think it's a flat rate. So if you're going to transfer money, I would say transfer enough for the month that you need and then you only have one transfer fee. So I think I've managed to cover pretty much everything. If there's anything else, ask me questions, put it in the description below, and I will get back and message you back with any more information. So without any more further rambling, here's the video. <laughs> I've actually stayed in two apartments here. For the first four or five days, I was in an apartment on a lower floor. It's just because the apartment that I was actually moving into needed a few repairs to be done, but they all got done. So here is my apartment tour where I will be staying for the next four to six months. I hope you enjoy it. So we've got the most comfortable couch ever, a workstation or table to eat. I love these views across 
Coliseum Reap here. A television which unfortunately doesn't work. <laughs> and through here to a very bright and breezy bedroom with two windows, lots of light. Again, fantastic views. I don't know whether you've actually seen on my Facebook page some of the views out the window. And there is a wardrobe just there. I do love this apartment. I really do. I feel very lucky. And the kitchen is nice as well. Fridge freezer, four burner gas hob. Got an oven, which most apartments don't have. The lady downstairs has just brought me up some really delicious food that I couldn't eat at all. So I've saved some in there <laughs> they've brought me this delicious local dish i don't know what it's called but honestly it is so tasty i'm so lucky especially seeing as i'm a really terrible cook <laughs> excuse the washing up i've been and i've bought my own kettle and rice cooker here and here is the bathroom I am so pleased that I've moved in here. I am really loving it. It is so comfortable. It really is. It's only small, but it's plenty for me. What do you think? Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. I'm really not sure that I could say any more about how happy I am cooking a bacon sandwich on a Sunday morning. <laughs> it's sometimes the little things in life. So really close to this apartment, there is a local market and they do fruit, vegetables, meat, household goods. So I've been over there and I've got a few supplies and decided to do or decided to try some home cooking, even though I'm not very good at it. Another thing that I am doing is taking language lessons. So I don't know if you noticed when I did the room tour, I've got some posters that I bought of the Kamai alphabet. I've given up on the alphabet and I'm just trying to learn a few words to make things a bit easier for me. Just arriving at my language lesson. It's my second class. And I think I've picked up a couple of words, but it's so hard to learn. I think I'm a little early, but this is my classroom. Walking back after my Kamai lesson, and it was a private lesson, it was so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it, I really did. I actually feel like I am getting somewhere now. Yay, go me. Oh, wow. Good morning, everybody. Look at that. So one small issue is after I've been here for a few days up in my new apartment, I noticed that there was some water in the bottom of the washing machine. I think the gentleman's here to fix my washing machine. I'm not sure whether you can see, but the washing machine is full of water. Right now, it's the end of monsoon or the wet season. We have had some humdingers of thunderstorms. We really have. I just literally jumped out of my skin. There is a thunderstorm brewing and there was just the loudest clap of thunder ever. <laughs> and I jumped three feet off the sofa. Just here. You can see the rain coming down from the sky. And I think any minute it's going to be right overhead. That rainstorm is completely overhead now. It's coming really quickly. The thunder and lightning's quite a lot as well. Wow. After the rain comes the sunshine decided to go for a walk and this is the way back home oh dear i think i might be getting wet feet <laughs> almost home 
I like coming the back roads, it's a lot quieter. And the view from the roof of this building is amazing, it really is. Cheers. Just after I handed my passport in to get the visa extension, there was a huge like national holiday and just up the road here there was a big local like fair or something going on and the lights from the skies they were just the most spectacular ever So I've just finished my Kamai class and today I'm... Oh, okay, these lovely gentlemen have just run past me and laughed at me videoing myself. <laughs>